Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about dry planner vertex painting, such so knitting and such absolutely fantastic. So it's a 191 feature, so only for 191. So to, to create something here like this here. Okay, so let's start with a new scene. So, okay. First, here you see the wireframe and the poly count here. Uh, we need much more topology, maybe subdivided up to a million. Okay, sorry. Um, subdivided up to a million. So, okay, test it which poly count you need. So, the next thing here is um, you can use the paint tool or create a own new tool. This is um, the inflate tool here. Um, yeah, let's do it with a paint tool. Uh, no, uh, let's do it with this tool. So here in the alpha settings here, you find here a new option here uh, for the projection surface screen tile and here's the tri planner uh, option. And here are the settings for the tri planner. You can set it to the local position or world. So let's choose a, a material here. So, okay, let's, uh, which material? Okay, such a knitted material here. So, the materials here are a other tutorial video. This is also new here. So here you see the preview of the of the whole thing here like this. And here you can set the parameter uh, to repeat, repeat, and the scaling here also. So you see here a preview option. So when this preview option is set, um, and you see here on the mesh a live preview what it looks like. So, and here you can change now the scaling. Okay, so, and then here in the painting settings, you can here set the stroke painting. So this checkbox, you see here also the preview here, it updates the whole thing and the paint intensity. And now you find here an option to paint all tri planner. So, and now this happens. <laughs> uh, it's too much. So we have to change the intensity. It's much too high. So set it to 100% maybe and um, test it. So here, uh, this is the mesh you get. It's a little bit too high. So I think this is the setting we want. So, and this is the mesh you get. So here you, we can change here the settings maybe to mirror, mirror and test it again. Paint tri planner and you see here what you get and maybe change it to this material. So, or other color. So, change the scaling a bit, maybe a little bit smaller. Yeah. So, this is um, the mode when you press here the paint all tri planner. So you can also use here um, the tri planner texture for the stroke mode. So here it's in, in dot mode. So now when I, I paint here on the, um, on the sphere, 
you get now this here but you have to adjust the, the intensity a little bit i think um, it's a little bit different to the paint all thing so like this and you see here the displacement and the nice thing it it blends very smooth together so like this here yeah a lot of fantastic things are possible so i open here a other file so maybe this one here so i I clone only this object here and use solo view. You see here the wire. Um, so we need more topology. So I use multi resolution subdivided a few times. And let's see what happens. So let's test it with this one too high intensity so turn the wireframe off let's test the other material so yeah you don't see much here with this one so maybe with scales So yeah, you have to play a little bit with it. And see what you get. Yeah, thousands of possibilities to play with this um, so maybe like this here or, or like this and as I said you can also paint on the mesh here with this with this thing so that's it um, have fun with sculpting ciao